There have been some straight up crazy nail trends over the past few years. Let's talk about them right now on Listed. All right, so some of this nail art might inspire you or inspire you to cut off your nails and fear that the nail troll might come and do this to you while you're sleeping deeply. Although the troll nail trend is something I can support and would love to see on everyone because let's be honest, who doesn't want a little piece of troll land with them at all times in real life? But this troll trend was a bright extension of another trend, fur, which apparently popped up on the models at the Libertine Fall Winter 2016 runway show. Because who doesn't think furry nails when it comes to fashion? This led to many more spin-offs, including felt fabric and pom-poms on the nails. Bubble nails was a trend that I tweeted about because I couldn't seem to understand the appeal and some readers agreed with me. But Nails Magazine blogged about it becoming cool all of the way back in 2009, people. And let's just say that I read how you create this and it is an artistic process. But if you're a big fan of fish, like you adore fish a lot, then perhaps you jumped on the beauty bandwagon with aquarium nail art. You basically seal in water or baby oil between two acrylic nails, but not before adding some fishy bling to float around and bubble and make you feel super special. But really, I think people who can do this and those of you who can pull it off, you're amazing. I could never do it. It truly is art. And then there are duck feet nails. Someone should have known the fact that feet is in the name of the design for your hands, that it is just wrong, but oh no, this trend swept the interwebs. Get it? Webs, haha, <laughs> like duck feet. But seriously, what's crazier than duck feet nails on your hands? Duck feet nails on your feet! You might love this trend and that is totally cool. Moving on, stiletto nails is definitely a thing. Again, might not be functional, but plenty of people rocking this style totally make it work. And it has remained popular for quite some time now because the added nail space allows for increased nail art options. So if you're into nail trends, you can try out more with more nails. Like icicle nails, probably one of the least functional nail trends that you could try out. But hey, I give a mental high five to anyone who can pull this off. Seriously, it's pretty incredible. And while the type of 3D nail art that's been posted all over Instagram and Pinterest varies significantly by style, and my opinion on them definitely varies significantly too, you could go from one tiny rhinestone to extreme designs with so much creativity and thought, but from an outside perspective, it's kind of cool to see the trend on other people. Same with the under and behind trend, where it's a little secret stash of sparkle literally under and behind where the normal nail art lives. From a different color polish to some add-ons, the location is what makes this nail trend unique. And we can't forget about the popular 100 layer challenge trend that gained its momentum right here on YouTube. People literally sit there and paint 100 layers of nail polish on their fingers and showcase their heavy hand about an entire workday later. It was definitely intriguing to watch and definitely not something I would ever want to do. So thank you on behalf of all of us for doing it, YouTube. And finally, one more trend that you may say yay or nay to is caviar nails. Those little micro beads of fun came in so many different colors that you could play the days away. Sometimes they were pretty cool designs. I gotta add that in. So I'm dying to hear from you regarding which trends you love and which nail trends are the absolute worst. Leave your thoughts below and tweet me at Dana Ward online. Clearly I'm no nail expert because ain't nobody got time for that but I love seeing designs on other people and it was really fun to research for you guys and for Listed. Speaking of, you can click over here for another fabulous episode of this show and thanks so much for watching. I'm Dana Ward and I'll see you guys next time.